What is up my dudes, Daniel John here, back at it again with my Ninja deck profile. I've been meaning to show you guys this, especially with all the new cards, so I'm very, very excited to show you guys this deck profile. Honestly guys, it's pretty good support in my opinion, like it's it's actually really, really good, uh, consistent, um, although it does have troubles going second, going first, this deck is absolutely disgusting. Um, and I can't wait to show you guys this deck profile. This this deck can honestly provide like so much. Um, it can summon a lot. Summon a lot of monsters. Get OTK. Uh, it doesn't even care about your opponent's field. Um, honestly, like I'm very excited to show you guys this. If you guys know, I do love ninjas. I topped uh, with ninjas before, and especially with all the new support, man, guys, I'm definitely gonna take this to a locals, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out, guys. I am gonna try it out. I love ninjas, and with all the new support, is it's absolutely insane amazing and i can't wait for the for more support for this deck because honestly guys like i i think this this deck is potentially a threat um because people you know don't know what the deck really does and they tend to not really read the cards and if you know if that's the case this deck is honestly going to do very very well um and you know in, in today's format so yeah i can't wait to show you guys this deck before guys i'm actually really really excited so yeah let's just get started so to start off triple um hanzo uh pretty self-explanatory you know you summon this <laughs> i mean either you're getting a a ninjutsu r or you're adding a ninja monster so this card's really really good um triple upstart golden ninja uh this card's really insane i don't know why people aren't running this um this card's actually really really good guys like you i mean uh, the, the combos with the combos with this card is actually insane like you can you can provide so much um you can provide so much boards with this. You can you can open up very very disgusting. And I know I know this deck as nightmare is hand traps, but honestly guys, like the the amount of support that this deck has, it honestly doesn't even care about hand traps anymore. Like especially if you know how to go around hand traps with this deck, it's absolutely insane. This guy, you you need uh, a golden ninja because you can recycle all your traps. You can recycle anything in your deck. Um, yeah, this deck's insane. Like honestly, like upstart, upstart golden ninja, discard one special summon. You can special summon Hanzo Hanzo effect. Um, you can you can literally add yourself the um, Baku, and then Baku's effect would literally special summon itself, adding back the trap card you just discarded from Golden Ninja. I mean that's just a little small. That's just a small of it, guys. It, this deck does a lot, and but yeah, this card's really insane, guys. And I I, I tried one, I tried two, um, but honestly, three is three is where it's at. And even if you don't need them, if you don't even have the trap cards, that's totally fine. I mean you can literally save them, you can literally discard them. I mean this guy is like. The ninja decks are so recurrable. They just they just keep recurring, and it's absolutely insane. So yeah, triple upstart golden ninja, really really good. Uh, next, you know, next off, obviously we run the triple of Tabari. I'm still trying to learn their names, guys, but yeah. So triple Tabari, um, really really good card. Um, especially some people keep forgetting when it's summoned on the turn because there's times where I summon it on their turn. Um, they, it can't be destroyed by battle or by card effects and it actually had me win a couple games uh, Especially because you know again like you know, it's fairly new people haven't read the card So that's usually how they usually lose to new archetypes uh, But this card's insane. It has a quick effects, you know fusion summon on your opponent's turn or bat, uh, main face or battle face uh, You can discard it special summon ninja monster. You can even discard this which I have done several times summon the upstart golden ninja a uh, golden ninja discard a trap um, and then summon Hanzo from deck. <laughs> and guys, your board's looking so much insane. I mean, you're just providing so much utility. The toolkit's insane. The new cards are absolutely needed. Um, yeah, so like triple of these guys are triple of him is really, really good. Especially with Baku too. Like it doesn't you, you cannot have a, a dead hand with this deck. You cannot have a dead hand. You're still gonna end with a Mason at the end of the day. So really, really good. And I can't honestly I can't wait to take this to tournament and start topping with it because I really do feel confident about this deck. So yeah, so then triple of him, and then triple Mitsu. Um, this card's this card's really really good. It's a, it's the first um, negate that ninjas has, so it's very very disgusting, very nice. I do love it. I do love it. I do love this card. Um, it could kind of be a little slowish. I mean, it does need kind of provide a face down, but other than that, like the negate, honestly, it's amazing. It's a very nice touch of the deck. I mean, again, you can it's a it's a free summon. Who doesn't want a free summon? You can search it out. You can special summon it. Um, it's just this card does absolutely, you know, it's it's absolutely amazing, guys. And it's a water too. So, I mean, <laughs> nah, just I'm just kidding. But it, it's a water. You know, if you um, there's there's times where I had tested the the charmers, 
um, for the, the extra deck. That's a little spice that you guys might see later, but I'm not running the water ones, and I'll probably explain a little later. You basically could run any any um, any of the charmers in your in, for your links, you know, in this deck, because you literally have every attribute, which makes this deck very very unique. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, triple meets you. I mean, this card's really really good. I mean, just negates and flip her back down, so your amazing's still alive. Like it's just it's crazy, guys. It's really really crazy. Uh, triple Baku. Um, I know people play one, two, or three. I think honestly, like I do see it. I do. I do see the point where three is a little bit too much. But here's the thing, guys. Like you want to max out on these cards only because um, they provide so much. You know, they they really do provide so much for the deck. Um, you know, this card's able to add, and you cannot go wrong with this card. You cannot really brick with this card. You can you can literally discard it. You can send it. You can add it back later and get its bonus effect. Like this card's uh, this deck's recursion is insane. Like there's times where even if I draw this, or if and I draw the, the um, a Tabari, Tabari, <laughs> yeah. But even if I draw this, you discard it, special summon himself, add him back, normal summon him if you want, and then make Mazen. Like that, 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 like come on, guys. Like really, like come on. <laughs> this deck is really, really broken, guys. It's a, I love this deck, guys. I really do. Um, yeah. So this card's kind of. I mean, in the future, I may drop it down, but as of right now, guys, this is where it's at. This card's really, really good. Just it's better than the field spell. Honestly, it's way better than the field spell. On the field spell, you're able to recur stuff, um, but the only problem is you're not able to activate it. This this is basically the field spell on crack. Like I'm not even like I'm not even lying, guys. This this card is literally the field spell, but better. It's way better than the field spell. And yes, as you guessed, we don't run the field spell. We don't run any of that. We just want pure consistency, pure beat down, uh, pure. I'm gonna stop my opponent. So this this card's insane. So yeah, I mean. Who doesn't want to run triple of these? But who knows? Maybe if they have more support, I mean, maybe you might see less of that. Um, last but not least, you run two of the new ones. Um, I, well, I don't know how, <laughs> the Cannon Ninja, the Kagero or Kagero or something like that. <laughs> I'm still trying to learn the names, guys. But uh, this card is good at two only because it's a um, it's except for itself a lot a lot of these ninjas you can literally like summon even if you like have two of each of the same card you can literally summon special summon her um this one you can't because it's very kind of restricted you can't summon summon itself so i can literally unbrick everything from from this pile right here because they're not restricted within themselves uh, but he is so uh that's why it's at two um he's really really uh or she's really really good um the fact that you know she's able to provide so much uh, to flip mod to flip your to special summon your own monster and yes you can contact fuse face down monsters so i mean it's 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 insane and also too like people keep for again it's new people don't you know, re really realize that you know when she's in grave and you target a ninja monster she does come out and it's 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 crazy guys it's crazy so this deck just it's just it keeps recurring itself like that's, that's why i really love the deck it just you know it just keeps coming out um the fact that this card can just summon itself um and special summon a ninja monster from hand or grave and and you can you know contact views from there or the fact that you can banish it um or not banish it you can special summon it if a ninja monster is targeted it's it's really good guys it's really good it's like i guess you can kind of say a spice tech in a way but i mean could it be better yes but it's still good all right now i don't know why no one's running this card guys i do not know why <laughs> but let me tell you guys this is where i'm at uh senior silver ninja Yes, guys, Silver Senior Ninja, guys. It's absolutely insane. I'm even thinking about bumping into two, honestly. But, um, but play, you know, playtesting one, guys, it's insane, guys. I cannot tell you how many boards I've literally broken or how many boards I, 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 or, or just how many uh, OTKs I, I had in, in my games. I mean, this, this card is so, so, so good. And I don't understand why people aren't even playing this card. Uh, first of all, you can special summon it with my Mazin. And then uh, second of all, like if he's he's not once per turn. So if you're able to, that's why I'm thinking about running too, but he's not once per turn. So he's able basically to monster reborn as many of your ninja monsters as possible. So there's certain combos where you can literally pull this off first turn. Um, there's, I mean, most of the time you're, you're going to do it um, during your opponent's turn, uh, especially because I sometimes are, you have a silver ninja here. And your deck literally like dumps so many ninjas. Like your deck dumps a lot of ninjas. And if you there's times where I end with this board, where it's her, Mazin, and then it looks like this. 
So there, there's a lot of times where the board looks like this. I pass with a couple of set traps, which is insane. And you can use her effect to flip, her, to flip him up, negate her, flip her down, and then his effect will activate, especially summoning as many ninja monsters in your grave or hand as possible. And guys, like, I can't... I kid you not guys like this this is literally insane like you can literally special summon a full board um and your next turn play is gonna be insane because you can set you can set your hanzo if you have a trap in your hand you can set an upstart golden ninja uh, for next turn plays you can literally set um even another mitsu if you wanted to or baku uh, you can set like your whole deck is just you can you're it's just you're able to provide so much like the toolkit it becomes better and better as you know um, more and more support. Like this card's really insane. It's not once per turn. You're, you're, it's just it's insane, guys. It's just insane. Like honestly, it's really really good. Uh, but I, I don't understand why people aren't running this. I I do like to see a rarity bump, but sadly, it's just only in common. Uh, but yeah, this card this card's really really good, guys. Trust me, guys. This card's really really good, especially with Mason now. Especially like you can bring him out from deck, guys. Like please, yes yes. Special summon it from deck. And honestly, like. Um, what else? So you have this one too. Can special summon him from hand, face down. I mean, you have like so much to do. It's just crazy. And you also have, you also have Kagero to summon him from grave or hand and face down. Like guys, like come on, like who, who are you kidding? It's it's really really good. Um, I just don't know why people aren't playing him. He's really really good. Really broken in my opinion. I'm considering playing two. I'm still you know. Trying to figure this, I'm trying to figure out if it's not a brick, uh, but it's a really, really good card when you pull it off. Trust me. Um, next, a double Lord of the Heavenly Prisons. Um, I tried three. Honestly, like I kept seeing two all the time. When I had three, I always see my opening hand two of them. <laughs> and there's times where I play two and I see two of them. I just don't understand why, but uh, this card's really good at where it's at for me. Um, I do understand if people want to play a third one. It is a good card in this deck. The fact that, you know, you can literally protect your set cards. So, yes, this card does protect your set cards, meaning your face down monsters. Um, and the fact that you're literally able to, uh, once you activate a card, you bring him out. You're able to set any spur or trap from your deck um, to your board. And you don't have to worry about, like, it being banished during, during the next turn because you're going to use it regardless, you know, during your, during your turn anyway. So, it's just, it's okay. Like, this card's good. And even if you don't use him, you can reveal him and... Your set cards won't be popped. So, I mean, this card's really, really good. It's it's better than, um, what's that? It's the continuous continuous spell that ninjas had, the Nijitsu notebook, that you're able to, um, you know, discard a ninja and set one. Honestly, this card's better because you don't have to, you don't have to um, go neg one. You can literally plus off of this uh, by special summoning him and getting a spell or trap, any spell or trap from your deck and just setting it. Like, it's, it's insane. It's honestly way better. So, yes, so double double Lord of Heavenly Prisons. Um, and then, obviously, guys, you know me, right? I like ninjas, and I got to keep this staple, guys. Uh, one, a Morphage Sloth, with more, one, a Morphage Goliath, and I'll, well, <laughs> I'll just show you. Uh, one, uh, Panker Top. So, this deck can summon these cards easily. I mean, if you guys see my last deck profile on my other ninja list, uh, you know, w without the new cards, I still ran this engine. Uh, this. This these these cards are just staples. No, I don't run the kaiju's. You know, I had to cut down just to kind of fit the rest. Uh, but you could run the kaiju's, the, the dinosaur kaiju. Uh, still really really good card. But honestly, like I had to like you know I've been play testing. I had to cut down some of the bricks. And honestly, these cards are good. You can't take away like one of these, like one sloth or even one goliath because he is a uh, he does he does he's a level six. And he's level eight. It's better to bring out the level sixes and level seven better than the level eight. It is kind of harder to bring Goliath out, uh, but if you're able to bring Goliath out, your opponent sometimes just stares at it and they can't do anything because, you know, what are the bestial monsters going to do to this if they can't you know, link summon or do anything to it? Um, especially if you're able to, um, you, you, your deck controls. So your deck is able to control and be aggressive at the same time. It's insane. So um, to be able to lock your opponent from extra deck is insane. And Panger Tops, you know, just in case, if I don't want to go this route, I could also go this route and just literally pop their cards or, you know, try to push for that OTK if another card's kind of bothering me. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, guys. It's... I still love this package. Uh, triple uh, Nijitsu Art Notebook of Mystery. Um, I Again, I did see the theory of playing one eight, and even two. But, you know, playing three, it's where it's at. You know, even if you draw the first turn, that's, that's fine. That's honestly fine. I think this card's insane. 
only because you're able to bring two cards out. Like you're able to bring two cards out from grave and deck. Like it's that's crazy. Whether it's the whether it's the spells or traps from Nijutsu Arts or whether it's the monsters from you know from deck or deck or grave from you know either or. It's insane. There's times where I brought silver out with this, and there's times where my opponent kind of looks at that and they're like, well, I don't know if I I just I I kind of want to figure out a way to get rid of silver without flipping him. Uh, but you know your deck does that regardless with with in their turn. So this card's really really good. Um, I yeah I do recommend playing three of them. It's not a dead card. Trust me, it's not it's not a dead card at all. Um, could it honestly like I I don't know if I prefer it being traps. If it was a trap card, I could utilize it a lot more, especially with the upstart. But honestly, the fact that it's a quick play spell kind of provides like a a turn two. Um, like you can go second with it in a way. So I don't mind it, but. Other than that, this card's great. So yeah, triple uh, Nidus Art Notebook of Mystery. Um, and then we run one uh, Iron uh, Digger, Nidus Art Iron Digger, or Nidus Art Tool Iron Digger. Um, just only one, and uh, just only one, only because of the fact that you can, it's very searchable. You don't want to see it, again, like you, you're trying to have, you're trying to go for consistency. Especially if, you, if I'm running um, triple Upstar Golden Ninja, um, I'm gonna need to see, you know, some, some of my traps, or not even that like I mean again like this card is very searchable you can literally recycle it um, off of Baku um, it's it's I mean this you shouldn't have to run like three of them I see two I do I do see two I have played two that's okay but um, three I think it's a little bit too much guys like honestly three is a little bit too much I know this card's insane uh, but in reality guys in reality like it's it does, it's not gonna work how you think it's gonna work like this card this card's very searchable. You, like, you wouldn't have a problem with that. And plus, you can literally set it with the uh, Nijutsu Art Notebook of Mystery, and you get a plus off of it. So you want to kind of see more consistency rather, rather than just kind of bricks. So this card's insane. And even in drawing it, it's insane. Uh, and honestly, like with this card, there may, you, it makes your monsters ninja. So there's times where I have Mazin on the field, right? There's times where I have Mazin. And, and a lot of times I summon him in the extra monster zone for just because I had Senior, and Senior's able to, to special summon a lot. But... Yeah, for example, so all these cards right here, obviously they're not ninjas. Obviously they're not ninjas, right? <laughs> Our Morphage, you know, Lord Heavenly Prison, and Dino Wrestler Panger Tops. This card makes them ninjas. So you're able to literally push for game and attack directly with Mazen because they become ninjas and they can attack directly. So there's times where I equip this to a, Mor a Morphage Goliath and I have Mazen. And I, you know, with a senior, I can special summon them back and flip them all up and attack for game. This this deck is literally it could OTK so easily and it's insane. It doesn't even care about your opponent's monsters. Like, cool, you have so many monsters that are unaffected by everything that I don't care. I don't have to kaiju it. I don't have to lava golem it. I can just literally just do my own plays and now I have to worry about your monsters and attack directly. Um, so the fact that this card can literally make anything ninjas, it's it's insane and it can pop too. It's really, really good. It can pop cards. It can recur all your banished uh, ninja monsters. So it's really, really good, guys. Honestly, like, it's, it's good. Um, now, yeah, I I'd, I'd still would run it at one. It's very searchable. And again, like I said earlier, you, you just, you only need one. It's very recurrable. So you don't, you don't even have to worry about this. Um, next off, triple extravagance. Um, I, like, again, like, I'm running a lot of, a little lot of more copies in my extra deck than usual. You do want a plus one in this deck. And it's okay. Let me tell you why. Because um, your ninjas, they don't really care about um, drawing. Sometimes they do. Most of the times they don't. Only because uh, if they ash this, that's fine. That's totally fine. I mean, you want to kind of bait out the ashes. You kind of want to bait out all the, the hand traps. And if that doesn't work, um, if, they, if, you know, if they're not going to bait it, that's a free plus one, guys. And you have a lot more options to play with this. So... And this card in this deck is really, really nuts, and I really love this card. And honestly, like I even tried taking all of it out. I tried take, I tried uh, the whole um, Jujutsu Art Notebook. Um, I tried the the whole the 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 other card that pops the Jujutsu Arts uh, draws too, because it's it is searchable. But honestly, that's it's neg. It's like neg one, and you don't want to neg. You want to just keep plusing, and this baits out your, the the hand traps. This literally baits out all the hand traps, and I do not mind whatsoever because all the all my ninjas plus anyway, so it doesn't even matter. So, but yeah, triple pots. It's it's really really good in this deck, and I highly recommend at least you try it. It's way better than the other cards in the juicy arts. Trust me. Uh, one Rota, pretty self-explanatory. One Moss Reborn. Again, I tried cutting this, but the fact that you're able to kind of you know 
kind of abused Hanzo. I mean, or you know, all the other ninja monsters. It's it's insane, and and to literally you know provide like a um, uh, If it's especially this card, this monster reborn. There's the times where this card's insane. There's times where this literally unbricks my bricks. Because uh, there's times where you do kind of have little bricks, but this is like an extender. In a way, Monster Reborn is an extender in this deck, only because, you know, Hanzo's now once per turn. You have, uh, again, like if you have another trap, you can go upstart Golden Ninja again because he's, he's a soft once per turn. Um, I mean, this it's insane. You can even go um, uh, the Mitsu. You're going to go Mitsu again, even if you wanted to, to provide, you know, next turn um, to follow, you know, the negate. And then you have a you can special summon Senior too if you wanted to. It's just, I mean, this this must it's really, really good. It's, in my opinion, it's an extender. So, Monster Reborn, definitely needed. Uh, Call by the Grave, really, really good card. I mean, you, again, you want to go first. You don't want to get ashed all the time. So, yeah, so Call by is very, very needed. Uh, now I run um, one Book of Moon. Um, I do see people run two or three. Uh, I, I'm thinking about it. I haven't really, like, tested it that much, Book of Moon. But you don't really need it. I'd say you could run something else if you want, like Triple Tactics, go for it. Uh, you can at least start cutting cards if, in Triple Tactics. I, I am considering doing that, maybe running Triple Tactics, uh, just to you know provide more. But then again, it kind of contradicts with my extravagance, and I don't want it to contradict with my extravagance. So uh, right, that's why I'm running Book of Moon. It's a really good card still. You're able to use it during your, opponent, during your opponent's turn, during your turn. Uh, you can flip down your own monsters, especially with Mitsu. Uh, to get a negate, especially if you have troubles like having face down monsters. I mean, this this card it provides a lot too, and it's very helpful. So, yeah, one book of moon. Um, next, triple, yes, triple uh, dancing leaves, guys. Triple dancing leaves. This card is not a brick, and I'm I don't know why people are running this in less. I tried running it at one, guys. I really did try, but it, honestly, you want to see it. You don't want to use Sizo all the time just to bring out these cards. You don't want to use that. That's literally a waste of summon. There's there's times where Sizo is a waste waste of summon uh, just to bring out one of these cards. You want to see these cards in hand so Sizo can set up other plays or other cards. Um, it's trust me. Like there's times where I don't even want to go Sizo. There's times where I just want to go Mazin and set these cards um, and then just you know pass and just have a board. You know big big board and start summoning nuts and crazy and just kind of locking your opponent down and shutting them down and getting their effects it's it's crazy like you want to see your ninjas you want to special summon um senior because the, this senior is a big threat it's a really really good card and this card brings uh senior out too so there's a lot of ways to bring senior out as you can tell this card's really really good and can literally like kind of unbrick your your hands too especially in your opponent's turn so really good card guys and the fact that it can recycle itself i mean come on guys it's able to recycle itself like come on <laughs> come on come on uh and then last but not least, you guys know me. Triple uh, Nidusu Art of Super Transformation. This is how I bring my um, our Morph Rage monsters and Panker Tops out. So, you know, this these three uh, brings out these guys. Um, it's really, really good. I mean, it's the fact that you can tribute your opponent's monsters and kind of like you pun you're punishing them and just by summoning, you know, by still summoning one from deck. Like you're just like, okay, you're just basically punishing them from playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Like it's, it's kind of funny in a way. So, but yeah, they, these bring these guys out. And with the equip, you make them a ninja, attack for game. That's, I mean, honestly, like, I really do love these new supports. Make this, it makes my style super consistent, guys. Um, I definitely recommend you guys trying it out. And that's it for the for the main deck. The main deck's at 40. Um, you could cut down the Book of Moon for an upstart goblin, but then again, it contradicts with the Pot of Extravagance. Maybe you can cut it out for something else, but or maybe put more Book of Moons. Again, it's up to you. I'm just telling you what, what works for me. Uh, right now, I'm uh, right now I'm gonna keep Book of Moon, you know, and see if it works. But yeah, let's go down to the extra deck. Uh, Double Dark. This card's insane, especially against tier limits. You snatch their their tier limit monster and just you know start start using their monsters. And especially you can equip them with the so you can steal their monsters, and you could equip with the with their you know the Nijitsu art tool, um, and make them ninjas and start attacking for game that way. Um, you can also use them just to for Link Flutter too. I mean, it's it's really really good, guys. Uh, two darks is really, really good. Again, like remember, I run extra extravagance, so that's why I run two. Uh, one phoenix, um, really really good card. You just pop you know pop back row and all this. I don't really care if this gets banished either, because technically uh, technically I run two uh, uh, back row removal. Uh, triple Sizo, really really good, guys. 
Uh, Saizo is good. However, you do not want to summon him all the time. You want to summon the newer one. Uh, Mazin's a lot better. Um, yeah, he's a lot better, but Saizo um, could provide you... It, it could provide you a lot, too, especially if you don't have the cards that you need. Uh, Saizo can provide, can provide you those cards. Uh, you know, again, like, just be able to set in a Jutsu Art uh, card from your from your deck to the field. There's times where I set the the Quick Play one. Um, again, I'm still learning its name names, guys, so... There's times where I set this because it's, it's just a good card in general. It's a really good card. It's able to bring one from grave to and to bring one from deck. It's just really, really good. So, I mean, Saizo is really good. And again, you know, I run three because extrav. Um, let's see. Next, Unicorn. Um, I mean, who doesn't love Unicorn? Honestly, you can take this out. Yeah, and if you want to um, spend more money on it, you could run Axis Code Talker. That's totally fine. I do heavily recommend Axis Go Talker, and you can take out the Unicorn or one copy of Saizo. That's perfectly fine. Um, and because, you know, Dark steals their monsters, and it's literally totally fine. So uh, go ahead and add Axis Code. You could add the other Charmers too, because honestly, they're, your ninjas are basically almost every att attribute. I think there probably are every attribute, if I'm not wrong. But yeah, I mean, this, you can run all the Charmers. The, the only problem is that, like, playtesting this, um, I'm Play testing this, I don't have enough room to, especially for extra because I am running extra. Uh, Prosperity is a better card. If again, if you want to take extra for Prosperity, go for it. If you want to kind of bump this deck up a little bit more, um, you could you could run Prosperities. You can take out Uni Unicorn or another Saizo for an Axis Code Talker. That that would be that would be cool. That would be really really good. Uh, but honestly, the the Charmers, you could kind of run the the Water one. It's just you're gonna find out that the extra deck is becomes a little bit more tighter. Um, yeah, because you can run the water one for sprites, you can run the dark, honestly, everyone's running dark, so that's why I run dark, uh, they're running all dark monsters, and, uh, for the light, you could run the light, um, there's times where I, d I had the, the water, the light, and the water, the light, and the dark, and I decided just to keep the dark, and just kind of take everything out, only because, you know, I kind of wanted to have more, uh, cards in my extra deck, other than, you know, the dark or light, um, for it's like situational and I kind of don't want to have my whole extra deck situational I kind of want to use my whole deck and 90% of the meta is dark. So that's why I run dark But yeah, again, like you can take out any of these cards for access code. I heavily recommend it. It's a really good card uh, Double abyss dweller really really good. I mean especially against uh, tier elements or any uh, grave heavy You know again, we're always going to be in the grave heavy format <laughs> So, you know, Abyss Dweller is where it's at. And it's one of my favorite cards. I mean, you guys already know this. I mean, I, I run this card almost in every deck. So, really, really good card. Uh, Tornado Dragon, my other um, removal, my other spell and trap removal. Really good card. Um, yeah, don't, don't need to say much about that one. Uh, one, uh, 41, Babuska. I mean, this this card's really good, too, especially there's, there's times where um, the game goes long. And there's and I mean there's time you're gonna have to know when to summon it. Obviously you're gonna have to know when to summon it. Just don't summon it just because like you gotta know when to summon this card. Um, and when you do, it's it prolongs the game a lot longer and you start adding more resources to your hand. It's and you can literally start winning the game off of that. So there's times where it comes up, there's times where it doesn't. But this card's good, you know, just regardless. Uh, one blade armor ninja. You only need one. If you banish it, cool. I don't care. Um, if you don't. It's right, it's right there in your extra deck. You can go maze in. You could also have Blade Armor Ninja. You can literally attack for, like, what, like 6,000 6, something, like um, probably almost 7,000 life points right there. So, and you have more monsters on your field, especially with your uh, senior or other cards. Your whole, your whole deck special summon, so it's insane. So you're able to provide an OTK. So it's like really, really cool. It's a really good, cool concept. People just keep forgetting about Blade Armor Ninja. Um, but yeah, last but not least, Triple Maze in. I'm not cutting this card. I love this card at three. Um, this you're just gonna summon it all the time. Your opponent's gonna want to stop it, which is why I run it at three because I'm just I want this card on my field as much as possible. I need it, um, especially with this deck. It's absolutely crazy to be able to just provide all your ninjas. This deck can literally summon every ninja. Like you don't even need a hand too. You just as long as you have a ninja in deck, like you can just bring it out. It's it's crazy, you guys. It's absolutely insane. But but yeah, I mean. I mean, that's it for my deck profile, guys. My ninja deck profile. Um, all right, guys. I'm about to show you the combo for this deck. I mean, it's really, really crazy. Um, so, literally, it's just literally with these. It's just these two. These two can literally provide so much. And Monster really good extender. Um, but I'm about to show you literally with just these two cards. Um, really insane. Uh, so, to start off, 
You go for upstart golden ninja. Discard um any it could be any trap, honestly it could be any trap. It doesn't even have to be ninjas in, in general. It could be any trap. Uh discard it, special summon, Hanzo, Hanzo effect, able to add. Since so special summon, it's able to add one from deck. So you're gonna add Baku. Baku's effect, since he's added, you're gonna special summon him. Effect of Baku. Return this from your hand. Then you're gonna use uh, Hanzo and Upstart Golden Ninja. And you're gonna make your Saizo. It's right here. So Saizo, Saizo effect activates, setting this. And then you're gonna use these two because they're different uh, types. And you're gonna make Mazin. And then now you, can, you have two sets and you have a Mazin. I know it's not enough, but honestly, like that's just two cards plus you know more cards in your hands. It's actually really insane. So that uh, when, when it's their turn, uh, Mazin effect activate. You can either special summon, uh, special summon Mitsu uh, with his effect. If they activate any card, that's the thing about it. He, they can activate any other card. It doesn't matter that he's able to special summon Mitsu. Uh, from deck and then you can literally tribute um, your maze in and then bring out uh, silver and face down and you have a negate right here uh, when silver is flipped face up you can special summon all these guys face down and honestly it's just you also have the transformation to kind of stop their plays and uh, you special summon your more page monster or panger tops literally insane guys literally insane. but yeah and let me show you how this looks like with monster reborn so so now if you have Upstar Golden Ninja, any trap, doesn't even matter. It could even be in Transformation, doesn't matter. Um, but for, the, for this purpose, we're going to use the Dancing Leaves and the Monster Reborn. If you have this and they don't stop it, like, GG. It's literally GG. Um, so, let me show you. So you go Upstar Golden Ninja, discard Dancing Leaves, effect, special summon Hanzo. Hanzo effect, able to add Baku, Baku effect, special. Baku's effect to re recycle any ninja card in general. So ninjutsu art or, or a ninja monster. So return it back to hand. And what are you going to do from here? You're going to use Upstar Golden Ninja and Hanzo. You're going to make Saizo. Uh, let's see. Oh, I already have Saizo. So make Saizo. Doesn't matter which you know Link Monsters. I'm just going to put it right here so you guys can see it. Effect of Saizo. Uh, setting the transformation. And then you're going to use um, Saizo and Baku. You're gonna go for Mazin. And then, now at this point, since you have an extender via Monster Reborn, you're gonna activate Monster Reborn. You're gonna special summon back your Hanzo. Hanzo's effect is he's not once per turn. You're gonna add the Mitsu. And then you're gonna special summon the Mitsu. And, you're gonna, and then, that's basically what the board is. You're gonna end like that. You're gonna set uh, the Dancing Leaves down. And you're gonna pass. During your opponent's turn, um, even you can even wait. You can even go amazing because you can literally when your opponent activate any card, uh, you're able to special summon the senior with his effect face down, and you have a negate there. If not, that's totally fine. If you want just more reinsurance, you use dancing leaves, and dancing leaves effect uh, tribute on uh, Hanzo uh, special summon uh, senior that way. So I mean, you're able to just literally control what you want to do. You don't even need your opponent to do anything, and you have a monster negate, and and you also have a transformation. And then you have your next turn plays, especially because when Mazin flips a uh, senior, senior's effect, you know, you just recur all your ninja monsters that you just used. So you literally set all of them down. And next turn, if you flip them all up, you know, Hanzo, add, Baku, add, and then Upstart Golden Ninja, if you had a trap, like, it's, this deck does so, so much. It's able to OTK so easily. And that's why, like, again, senior is really good. The utility in this deck is crazy and it's insane. Um, however, going second, um, I am trying to figure out a way to go second with this deck, but going first is insane, guys. But yeah, guys, that, that's it for the combos. I mean, if you guys want to see more, go ahead and just, you know, um, comment comment down below because there, there's a few. There's a few more combos I'd like to show you guys, but, you know, comment down below if you guys want to see more. Um, other than that, guys, this deck's insane, and, you know, I really do appreciate you guys' support. Uh, we're almost, you know, hitting that 300. Um, I, and honestly, guys, I really love your support, guys. I really, really do. I do this for fun. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! is my favorite card game. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is your boy, Daniel John here, signing out. Peace.